Have you been waiting on MIUI to hit the HTC One? You're in luck. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is MIUI version 5 on the HTC One. MIUI, or MyUI as some call it, is as controversial as it is unique and refreshing. Its interface is a strange mixture of WebOS, Android, and iOS, and questions about the security of MIUI are never ending. No less, MIUI version 5 has been ported to the HTC One by XDA developers user Eddie Scorpius. And performing the quick and easy installation process will have you up and running on one of the most unique Android experiences around. Based on Cyanogemod, the latest build of MIUI is built on Android 4.2.2. For those who have never used MIUI, it requires a mental contact switch from every other version of Android you've ever used. The lock screen isn't all that different. It's a simple splash page with the time and date near the top, and an unlock slider near the bottom. Slide to the left to jump to the dialer, up to access the camera, right to open the messages app, and down to simply unlock. However, unlike stock Android, Sense, TouchWiz, or the thousands of other custom ROMs, MIUI does not utilize an app drawer. Instead, the home screen is the app drawer, meaning every application either has to be displayed as an icon on your home screen, or tucked away in a folder. For organization freaks, this may be a problem, unless, of course, you're familiar with iOS. And like older versions of Android, long pressing an empty space on the home screen will allow you to add a widget, though setting a wallpaper is done in the settings app, like in Sense. The notification shade actually doesn't differ all that much from stock Android 4.2, in that it has a dedicated page for notifications and a separate toggles page, which actually looks and operates more like the quick toggles in the latest version of TouchWiz. The quick toggles, however, cannot be accessed by a two-finger swipe down from the top of the display. To handle the lack of a physical menu button, the developer has added the ability to use the upper part of the HTC logo as a menu button, but it's just as finicky as similar implementations of the HTC logo. The settings application is easily the most unique part of the standard MIUI ROM features. The settings app itself has a quick settings page, dedicated to things like brightness, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, volume, wallpaper, launcher settings, etc. Swipe to the left and you will switch to the All Settings tab, which closely resembles the layout in the stock Android settings app with dedicated categories, wireless and networks, personal, accounts, device, and system. Like any other MIUI ROM, there is Chinese lettering scattered throughout the system, such as on widgets, and in one area that makes MIUI the most unique ROM around, theming. Yes, other ROMs have themes, but the MIUI theme engine is expansive. There are thousands upon thousands of different free and paid themes to choose from. The MIUI themes cover everything from the lock screen, lock wallpaper, icons, and home screen, to ringtones, notification shade, alarm styles, fonts, status bar, boot animation, and much more. If you want to see what iOS 7 would look like on the HTC One, there's a theme for that. Or if you want to make your home screen resemble Windows Phone, you can, for a price. All these themes can be applied on the fly. And if there's any aspect of a theme you don't particularly like, you can mix and match elements from a handful of different themes to get exactly what you want. If you're feeling bored with Sense 5 and the Google Play Edition software felt a little bland on your HTC One, you might want to consider giving MIUI a try, if only temporarily. So far the performance seems smooth and the versatility of the interface is great, though we're not terribly fond of not having an app drawer on an Android device. Also, like with the Google Play Edition software, you'll be missing many of the original HTC One features, such as the animated gallery, Zoe, Beats Audio, HTC's camera optimizations, and several other features. That's going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe. And as always, follow us in the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I'll see you next time.